In this video, I will show you how to enable more detailed status messages when computer is starting up or shutting down. And that can be quite useful when you're troubleshooting something or if you have some impatient users that sometimes take unnecessary actions like forcefully trying to shut down the computer when it's taking few minutes to shut down. And status messages help to inform the user that something is going on right now. For example, a uh, software is installing, so that's why it's taking a bit longer to load windows. And we'll enable status messages using group policy, and I will show you how they look uh, on a computer where we have them enabled, and I will also show a computer that has them disabled. So let's get started by opening group policy management console. For that, let's go to tools, group policy management. And as you can see here, I have already created a few organization units. And we will be applying this group policy on organization unit, which is holding our computers. And I have two organization units that are holding my computers, domain computers one and domain computers two. And I will be creating this group policy on one of them because I want to show you the difference. So in this case, I will right click on domain computers one and click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I will name it detailed status messages and click OK. Now we can expand the organization unit and we see our newly created group policy. Let's right, right click it and click edit. And now let's go to computer configuration, expand policies, let's expand administrative templates and select system let's scroll down a bit and here almost in the end we see display highly detailed status messages and let's double click that and here we can see some information about this policy the interesting bit is maybe here if you enable this policy setting the system display status messages that reflect each step in the process of starting shutting down, logging on, logging off the system. And basically what we want here is to just enable it. Click apply. OK. Now we can close this window also. And that's basically all that we need to do to enable the status messages. Before we continue this video, I will apply another group policy that I made before creating this video. And as you can see here, it just installs few software packages. And I will apply it a bit higher so that it applies to both of my computer organization units. And I did that because it will provide us a bit more information uh, when computer is starting up. And also now we can go to our client machines and let's run a GP update on both of them. And as you can see, it's asking me to restart, but that's mainly because I applied software installation uh, group policy. You don't need to restart the computer for the detailed messages. And now I will restart the client machines. And as you can see, the messages are a bit different now. And the client one, the current one, has the messages enabled and the client two has them disabled. So as you can see, it's now showing us that it's installing software. For example, in this case, it's installing Mozilla Firefox. And my second client is just asking us to wait. And now this one is installing Google Chrome. And this one is still asking us to wait but it's also installing software but it doesn't show us that it does that it's taking a bit and it's done we can log in back And 
And as you can see, both of them installed the software packages, but only on client 01, we saw the status messages that something is happening. And like I said before, it's quite useful to know what's going on uh, for you when you're troubleshooting or for the user when he is waiting for the computer to load windows. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one.